How better to connect with our North Dakota counties than to meet with them one-on-one? -on -one? You learn so much by seeing their courthouses, shaking commissioners' hands, and listening to their successes, struggles, and emerging issues. These visits, termed the President's Tours, provide the NDACO and NDCCA presidents with abundant insight on what is really going on in our counties. The 2016 President's Tours visited the counties of Ward, Renville, Burke, Divide, Williams, and Montrail in the western part of the state, and Benson, Ramsey, Nelson, and Griggs counties in the eastern half. It's a lot of country to cross in three days, and the information is jam-packed as our tours are limited in time at each stop. These county visits give NDACO an opportunity to discuss the priorities for the upcoming 2017 legislative session. The importance of the state taking over funding for county social services was the top item counties wanted to discuss as the legislature is studying the issue during the interim. The proposal would eliminate 20 mills counties levy for social services and replace those funds with state dollars. Counties know this is a cost they have little control over and state funding would result in permanent and real tax relief. NDACO President Steve Reiser's position as director of the Dakota Central Social Services provides the essential perspective to explain the complexity of this issue. The current state budget is on county commissioners' minds as they too have experienced revenue shortfalls and budget cuts. However, they continue to hold out hope for state approval of new election equipment and radios for law enforcement. In both cases, the equipment has reached its end of life and parts to repair broken equipment is nearly impossible to find. Whether it is the election equipment or radios, counties stress the need for one system that can be unified across the state. Counties also revealed how legislative changes to increase the level of training for township assessors has impacted them. County tax directors are seeing an increase of assessments being directed to them by townships and cities. This has impacted their local budgets and created a great deal of additional workload. We also heard that counties in North Dakota are responsible for local assessment of industrial properties and reporting of those tax assessments to the state of North Dakota. This includes determining the difference between real and personal property when conducting local assessments. Few counties have the training to conduct tax assessments of this type, so they typically contract with out-of-state experts. County officials are concerned that state government also lacks this expertise and they feel the system would benefit from added professional assessment staff at the state tax department as well as an update to the rules regarding real and personal property and improved training opportunities for local county tax officials. The lack of behavioral and mental health services is a deep concern with all counties we visited especially in the western part of the state, where there are no treatment options available for literally hundreds of miles. Counties are seeing firsthand how the lack of treatment is having ripple effects on other programs and services, such as law enforcement and social services. Our traveling team witnessed a great deal of road construction projects throughout the state. Counties are very appreciative of the generous levels of funding that have been sent their way in recent years to address infrastructure needs. While they have more projects in need of funding, counties understand that the state's investment in transportation is expected to be scaled down considerably due to reduced revenues. One of the aspects of the President's Tours that is the most enjoyable is to see the courthouses. While our courthouses are rich in history, the century-old buildings are in need of expansions, renovations, and or replacement. We witnessed many of the projects recently completed or under construction. Ward County recently completed a courthouse addition that houses nearly all county offices other than the judicial and law enforcement. The space allows the county to eliminate renting space and brings all county offices to one location. Construction is also currently underway on a jail expansion. The growth in population in the Minot area has created a crowding issue for the current jail. The addition and remodel will double the amount of cells, allowing Ward County to house 100 inmates. Montreal County is undergoing a similar project. Montreal's jail currently houses 12 inmates, and the new jail will have 42 beds. The law enforcement center will be attached to the current courthouse and will house the Sheriff's Department, State's Attorney's Office, a new courtroom, and other county offices as well. In addition, 
Montreal County recently built a new highway shop. The courthouse expansion in Divide County will double the courthouse space and should be complete in the summer of 2017. With the expansion, the courtroom will be handicap accessible and will allow for the county to bring all agencies into the same building, decreasing the need to rent space. In Williams County, major work is going on to create a campus feel to the county buildings in downtown Williston. A law enforcement center expansion will be attached to the current courthouse. 108 beds will be added to the existing jail, which will remedy the sustained inmate overcrowding. A renovation of the courthouse will add more courtrooms and court office space. Across the street, the Williams County Administration Building will accommodate all county-related administrative departments in their own suite. This space will include a new commission hearing room that will seat twice as many people. The Griggs County Courthouse is North Dakota's oldest courthouse in its original use and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The Sheriff's Department and State's Attorney's Office have been moved to the new Emergency Operations Center. Construction on the remainder of the building is still ongoing. Employees are anxious to move into the new and spacious courthouse. This new space will also allow the county to reabsorb offices that are being housed at various locations to one site. The courthouses, new or old, are prominent, proud places on the North Dakota Prairie. Our courthouses are infused with determined, dedicated, and diligent employees, proving that North Dakota is county strong.